Hi, this is King K Africa. Last week, we ended at Amasaman, the signage, close to the Amasaman police station. That's where day one ended. Today is day two. And to give you a heads up, day two started exactly where day one ended. Where I stopped in day one, the next day, that's exactly the point I start from to continue the journey. So just to give you a, a little recap about uh, day one, how it ended. So we slept close to the police station. Mosquitoes were biting us, my cameraman and myself, but we wrapped ourselves and slept off. Day two, woke up as early as 5 a.m., 4.35. Mind you, I slept around 2 to 3. I woke up around 4.35 said a prayer with my cameraman. We're starting from Amasaman and we're hoping we could make our way all the way to Suhum today, um, if all things being equal. As at this point, we didn't have any vehicle or a car for the cameraman to sit in in order to take the shots. So he had to be boarding a taxi from stop to stop. At some point, he had to board a truck truck from stop to stop. So let's just say from Amasaman, he takes a, a taxi like 200 or 300 meters away, then I walk to catch up. So in this circumstance, uh, we didn't have much of the shots considering that in day one, the vehicle was driving him so he could take enough. So I did most of the videos on my live Facebook and you can check my Facebook out at Kinke Africa or Steven Oseakoto and then see all the live postings that I did. But I also want you to enjoy this particular episode because you get to see the distance that I was walking. Amasaman signage and I moved and when I was walking it was a straight journey and with this you see how far I walk. Don't get bored because I want you to see the distance and the stretch. the people, the cars that were passing, and I constantly had to walk on the other side of the road just to face the incoming cars so I would be safe because there was no security personnel with me to control the traffic. a long distance all the way from Amasamai to Nsawam.
And when I got to Insanwam, the first noble thing I had to do was to report myself to the Insanwam police station. So I walked straight into the Insanwam police station and I met three beautiful ladies who were in a police uniform. They received me, welcomed me, offered me water. And then they even went ahead to call the commander in charge of that particular Insanwam police unit. Commander came and then he met me. But unfortunately, uh, at the police station, they didn't allow my cameraman, Jay-Z, to film. So we don't have shots of it. We spoke with the commander. He assured us of everything and our safety. And I told him I was just passing through the town because that day I wasn't going to do anything less than 30 kilometers. So I spoke to him. I met the beautiful women. We took pictures. The commander even made a joke that he's going to change, put on a short and help me do the work for peace. After taking the pictures with these three beautiful police women, I continued the journey from Insanwam. And this is where I faced a lot of challenges because there were some roads that weren't tied. So very dusty road. And I had my blue towel on top of my head just to cover up for the sun, the blistering sun. And I walked all the way. Now, on my way, in preaching positivity, I got to this particular location between Insanwam and Suhum. I saw this church because it was on a Sunday. Don't forget, I started Saturday in the morning, day one. So day two was on Sunday. When I got there, church service was going on and I had no choice than to share the message that I was carrying along with the people or the children of God. As a Christian, I went closer to the church. I spoke to uh, the woman who was in charge of the church. And because I came with a good heart and a good message, she offered me the microphone to speak with the congregation. And God made a way for a miracle for me to speak with these people. And it was amazing having a microphone and speaking hallelujah. Amen. TV so any social media so but 
my journey all the way to teach a man thing. We've been interacting. It's not been easy. It's not been easy at all. But determined to make it happen. So we'll definitely get there. Keep up supporting the Kinke Africa Peace Walker brand. And then also subscribe to my YouTube channel at Kinke Africa. When you see me by the roadside, you could just holla Kinke and I'll say peace, positivity. I'll see you on the other side. When I was on Zion Felix's channel for an interview, he was wondering how I was going to be able to walk all the way from Accra. Even to get to Tichamante, if you are driving, is quite a distance. So when I got there, I made a video and I told him 
I have gotten to teach Amante, so everything is possible. I continued from teach Amante all the way to Sukun. getting late and then from Suhum to the next town was Apidra and from Apidra I moved all the way to Bonsu. So here is where I ended my journey for day two from Amasaman all the way to Insawam from Insawam to Suhum. I averaged not less than 38 kilometers that day and it was glory be to God because when I was going through I was feeling pain in my thighs, in my shoulders and under my feet but I kept pushing, I kept pushing with one mentality in my head, just bend your head and keep walking. Even though I was tired at some point, I just kept walking. My name has been my name will continue to be, and I have come to stay, is Kinkei Africa, positivity, promoting it from the African continent to the world. And I also want to say a very big thank you to Montgomery Residence for sponsoring this particular episode. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Kinkei Africa. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Kinkei Africa. Thank you for watching. Watch out for episode three, 
next week.